problems with the government. Based on the lie of this table, they look really, really good. I can't imagine why he wouldn't get out. Coming up on the table Mitch Elliman just got off of, we have one of our local players, Ronnie Allen versus Scott Frost. So Ronnie's definitely going to have his hands full, but he's certainly capable of uh, getting out with, given the opportunity. So uh, we got to try to pull in the local player here. Can't feel like you're out of it at any point, Rachel. All right. Yeah, the um, I like the results. The tables being lightning fast, uh, kind of kind of bit bit you on the backside. You hit that uh, three ball like like a champ, and you come back too far on the four in your match, and that was a uh, that was a hell of a spot. Yeah, that's, yeah. that was a killer. Uh, yeah. Plus, you got uh, you know you got some tough rolls along the way in that match. All right. Joey is kicking, playing a little safety battle here, but now he's left uh, Vilmos a, a makeable shot. So it looks like Mark Vidal and uh, Ramin, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, Ramin's a local. Hill Hill match, Ramin's breaking. And the other match we were referring to, Dennis Okolo playing in Kong, which is Bernardo's, Bernardo Chavez. That's moved to 3-1, Dennis Okolo. The match you're watching, obviously, is uh, Vilmos playing Joey Chin. Has a remarkable talent. Uh, it's, uh, you can tell his Vilmos is smooth, man. He's got uh, remarkable, remarkable yeah. talent. He just handles the cue ball so good. You know, most people can shoot, but the bottom line is you got to take down the cue ball, and he does that with most players. Smash just went one to nothing, Vilmos. Vilmos breaks, makes the one. He made two balls. I didn't see which way the other one went in, but one went in the side. Can't tell. No, he's dead hooked on the two. I think uh, with, his, with his talent, he probably will uh, come with a mass A or a jump. Oh, he's pushing out to a, a jump. jump. Pushed out to a jump. Uh, the ball of the interference, but uh, that's the um, style of play he has. Well, Densicolo just took a 4-1 lead, and he... Uh, not sure whose break it is. It looks like it's Bernardo's break. King Kong's Mark. break. Yeah, King Kong's great. Mark Vidal looks like he's going to take the snatch right off the table and he's shooting. I don't see any reason they can't close this one out. All right, Joey has accepted the jump shot himself. He's not giving it back to Vilmos. Well, yeah, That's... Joey's going to actually jump as well. Oh, he got a good, well, Close. Joey got Joey made a nice hit and got a good got rewarded with a good roll. Perhaps. Looks like. He, Maybe you can see it. Oh, wow. 
Not bad. I was going to say, it's hard to see sometimes. You don't get the right view that you want. He certainly did. Now look at this, double click with position. My goodness. How are they rolling huh. when you see that happen? Yeah. Hitting uh -huh. two balls and laying up perfect. Oh my goodness. You know how it is, the better you are, the luckier you get. It seems that way. Amazing how quick and easy this he plays. The big table game is awesome as well. Tight pockets, it doesn't matter. Got the whole package just got right. Nice. Everything goes in the center pocket. And he's always on the right angle. Yeah. You know, it's Very few people in this tournament are the favorite to beat this guy. Pressure can get to anybody. I mean, just. So it seems like the good players get the good roles. Mark Frost, I mean, correction, Scott Frost. I'm still thinking Mark with all that. This guy hits the ball too soft and misses it too. What's well, because he hit it soft and he spun it and it pushes it up. All right, well, some people have nine lives. Like he's been living real good, all I can say. That's amazing that he missed that ball. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, unbelievable. I know you guys can't see what we're talking about, but we're trying to keep you updated on the matches. And, the, and uh, two great players dog the eight back to back. What are you going to do? <laughs> and, right? And, oh, it's just, uh, as, as Murphy said, uh, Lose a hundred on that shot. But you're watching what oh, we're breathing around me. You running bad? You running bad. Yeah, you're running bad. I'm telling you, what a shot this guy is. Man, when you're running bad, one of, one of the guys had a hundred on Ramin to win the match, and uh, he dogs the eight, loses the hundred. What are you gonna do? That's amazing. He misses that ball. I realize we're not giving you the best commentary ever, and the only match you can see is the one you're presently watching with Bill Moose and J Joey Chen, but the other matches were kind of sweat noses. Joey just out. came with a nice little cut shot there. Oh, he certainly did. He kicked it. He kicked it in. Real first, he kicked it, and this should be, he should close this out. I can't see why he wouldn't, but uh, we said the same thing about the other match. 
Put the put the commentator mouth right on him. Yeah. Doubly. First guy, then the second guy. So I believe that puts Dennis on the hill, five to one two. over King five Kong. Two over, uh, oh, two, five to two. Excuse me. All right, Joey finishes that out, and for a two to one, what I do believe is Vilmos's break. broke dry. He broke dry, but no shot. But it's always good to have first turn at the table, regardless, right? You get to decide whether it's a push out or a bank or lay down safe. That, that type of safety is not going to get it against a, a player of his caliber. You and I get ready to think the same way. That's the kind of safeties I play. <laughs> yeah. You and I get thinking the same way. That's not going to work. See that? That just not. Right, he didn't get back to the two, right? Two's on the bottom rail with the nine, or is that the eight? That's the uh, two. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm guessing in the dark here. We just got up and hit it like he knew he was going to make it. Almost did. He didn't take much time. He won't take much time. You know when you know. Yeah, you know what you know. So absolutely. <laughs> Johnny Kane's a really strong player out of LA, I believe. Scott Frost up two to nothing over Ronnie Allen, but Ronnie is at the table this game. Oh, we got a tough bump. But he did bump the other the next ball over the pocket, so all he's gonna do is come with a shot here. He makes this. Now it's Joey's break. No other score updates yet. Oh, Joey breaks and scratches the cardinal sin. You gotta take care of Whitey. Whitey lives matter. Like Murphy said, it seems like it only happens on real good players. Yeah. Of course, invariably, there's no problems. No problem balls. You don't feel so bad if there's problem balls. The guys have got to work for the out, but when you connect in the dots, these guys just they do it too good. Connecting the dots is uh, what they do best, in addition to breaking well. But they just hold that clean line. Yep. See what I said about him scratching? What's that? He scratched and said, hey, you got to you take care of Whitey. Whitey lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, the score in the Vilmos uh, match is 3-1. to one.
uh, Vilmos and uh, oh, it's wow. characteristic for him to miss an easy shot like that. Wow. I was just getting ready to say, as long as he gets on the five, no problem, and uh, he, he jars the four. Oh. Nobody's uh, immune to jarring a ball. Uh, there is no score in the Warren Camco uh, Deborah Aaron's match yet. And. Uh, the, Ronnie Allen Scott Frost match got is up three to nothing and currently running out. So but he's on the he's on the three ball. Ronnie broke the drive out of the way. Nice pattern here. And there's no score in the Johnny King match uh, yet. And Jamal, Johnny King and Jamal. Uh, Although it looks like Jamal's poised to get out here. He's on the seven. Oh, uh, man, Joey got a little unfortunate there. He comes in behind the five, kicks it. Kicks a pretty good angle to catch the safety. And uh, it catches the titty on the far side of the side pocket and bounces back where Vilmos has a shot. I turned, I turned my head when he had the four jarred up, uh, the four, he was shooting on the four, so I don't know. Obviously, he was got way out of line on the five, and they started a safety battle. Actually, I thought he had a good safety, but I, again, it's hard to say for this uh, camera view. Well, he moved his ball a lot here, and... Uh, yeah, moved it perfect, though. But was it necessary? I guess so. With a perfect angle. I guess To go was. two rails. Perfect angle, good two rails and come up perfect on the eight in the side. It appears to be the right shot at this point. Player of his caliber, I ain't second guessing this shot. <laughs> no, no. He knows them rails perfect. And he's got the speed on this table. That's the amazing part. I mean, Vomos, I've never seen him play on a bar table. He's, you know, I mean, I know he's an awesome player and he's a, a great big table player, but. Sometimes even the great big table players have a, a little trouble adjusting the speed and stuff on bar tables. Um, but he's hitting them good. This cloth right now is uh, two weeks old. But there was a tournament played on it last week, so that should have broken in a little bit. Everybody's making the balls. That's not the part. We're all, uh... And Vilma scratches on the break. They're going to have to tighten that up. That's not going to... That's not going to work no. down the line in the tournament. Uh, he's got to tighten that portion of his game up, playing a better player. Not that Joey can't play. There's no obstacles. So let's see how this works out. Yeah, he laid real good on this ball. And Scott Frost is now up four to nothing on Ronnie Allen, and once again is uh, running out. He's on the three with uh, no tied up balls, so he's a heavy favorite to get out from here. Like Joey has made short work of this rack on Vilmos's break. This is, hey, this is where you get back in the match. I mean, Vilmos is up four to one. Now see Joey wins. It's going to be four two, and uh, it's uh, Joey's break. Vilmos. Next time Vilmos sees the table, it might be uh, a one a one game match.
Why do you get tied up on the end rail? Anything can happen. I mean, anything can happen. Just ask Jason Shaw a couple years ago. Uh, uh, Adam Roberts was down three to nothing uh, against Jason. Adam's a, a good local B player, and he wins six to three. Wins six in a row. How do you figure that against a player like Jason Shaw? But so anything's possible, of course. But that's uh, quite the mountain for Debbie to climb here, down two nothing with uh, Warren Campco. Yeah, not very likely. Yet. All right. Did you see that shot that he just feathered in? I'm no. About Vilmos. Look at the shot on the one he feathers in. We got a replay. That's why I said look at the shot on the one. You've already seen it, the viewer. So look at this. He feathers the ball. Yep. He, Just a quite uh, nor he, normal shot for these guys. He does use what looks like quite a long bridge for uh, shooting on bar table. That's just from... Just style. Yeah, Stroke. just his style. Plays off the back of the queue. As you said, you can't question results. No. No, it's, it's actually reminds me of a funny little story. I'm... Uh, I'm watching a little link on YouTube of uh, in 1988, a match between uh, Efren Reyes, who had just come to the United States so like a year or two before that. Uh, Efren in the World Championships uh, here in Vegas against Keith McCready. And they had interviewed some of the top players at the time, you know, Mizorak and, and Jim Rempe. And uh, Rempe, uh, you know, you got to keep in mind that Efren had just come to the United States uh, within the last year or so before that. And uh, Jim Rempe was critiquing Efren's stroke that was kind of loose and wild and not, uh, not your standard uh, uh, picture-perfect, you know, fundamentals and how that might break down over time. Well, little do you know, in hindsight now, <laughs> I mean, Efren was the best player in the world for uh, uh, three decades, maybe four decades, you know. But... Uh, well, it's just funny how you can judge some something you see that's not quite fundamentally what the book says it should be. And so you want to critique and criticize a little rush to judgment, if they say. But yes, no question. Everybody has their own style. Physically, we're built differently, and thus their strokes are a little different. So. It's like, you know, Tommy Kennedy wins the U.S. Open back in 92, I believe. And he's got a, when he, uh, he's got a hitch in his backstroke, you know, and, but he comes through dead straight. Jim Furyk, hell of a golfer, got a big hitch in the top of his backstroke. Comes through square on that golf ball, though. Yeah, Furyk's one of my favorites. He's one of the best players. Uh, got that hitch right at the top of his swing, though. Yeah, longevity. In terms of longevity, he's been uh, playing at a great, you know, uh, high level for a long time. But, uh, looks like Vilmos is just going to go with that combination and close this match out. He's already up five. You're welcome. And then here's this. Okay, now the Vilmos match is actually I five at, to let me two. Stand, let me stand corrected. He missed the combination and got behind the six ball or seven. You see skittle ball colors. I believe that's a six. These balls are confusing me, but six or seven.